Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here for Gibson TV. We're coming to you from the Gibson Artist Lounge at NAMM 2020. Being serenaded in the back, I love, I love a musical intro. From the Grammy Award winning band Los Lobos, David Hidalgo. What's happening, brother? Oh man. You guys just lit it up in there. It was nice. That was a lot nice of fun. Nice crowd. And, uh... and and earlier too, what was that like in the, just in the lobby of the convention center with like, what? 400 cameras like shoved in a thing. It's kind of like a like a gorilla style. You know? Yeah, it's cool, man. But you guys, you guys handle it. You handle the big stage. You handle big stages all over. It's you guys yeah. just play a lot of shows. We do. We you play guys, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like, what is what is a typical year for Los Lobos? Well, I don't, How many I, dates are you? Guys I have doing? never added them up. I've never tried to. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's too it's too it's, many it's, to it's count. Quite a, you know most of the time. I, I'm what I'm grateful for. Yeah, it's nice to have a job out there and doing it. Yeah, man. it's so cool. And you've been you've been falling in love with a lot of guitar. Every guitar you guys want to buy one, and it's already sold. And, yeah. And we were just asking, is the three? If the does anybody know this fifty nine new historic collection DS three thirty five sold? It's pretty good, right? Yeah, I, I don't think I, I could I couldn't afford it. But if our, if our <laughs> you whole know boy, a guy, you know, I, I know a guy. You know maybe he'll help me out. We'll, we'll work it out. I mean, See, now, now, this is my favorite. How long have you been playing guitars and collecting guitars and buying guitars and doing this whole thing? Well, I'm um, 65. I got my first guitar when I was 11. Does it still get you the, the same excitement when you I walk when you walk in the room and you your yeah. eyes, we were just talking about the new Trinis. Did your eyes just like go right I to love, it? Like you still get, ex, is, I is get excited. excited. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I love guitars because they're all different. And it's hard to, you have to explain that to your wives because <laughs> so you already have whatever. Yeah. But you know, I said, like, but they're all different. They are. And they all incite different things, and they yeah, all they do. They're different. all different. Yeah, and that's that's the beauty of an instrument. When was the last time you were at a NAMM show? You, you guys come to this thing every year? Or you, it's, it's been a while. We've been working on the road every January, so this is it's been quite a while since we've been here. Yeah. yeah. Anything in particular other than this particular ES that you're looking at that that you saw in there that was like catching your eye? Well. The SG I played for the show was nice, very nice. And the Les Pauls are great. Uh, you know, the, the new, the, the, all that, that line of uh, the 60s. Oh, the, the 60th anniversary, yeah, 60s, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those beautiful guitars. And I, you know, and it, well, I had, I grew up, my first, well, not my first real, but well, when I was a teenager, I got, I had a non diverse uh, uh, Firebird. Cool. And what so color? It was white. Oh, custom color. Yeah. And it got stolen. I got it back, and it got stolen again. You know, <laughs> dude, it's just not meant to be on that. Yeah, one. It's, yeah. I, I found a guy on the internet that had it because I know because it, it it had been refinished. It was white, but it uh, instead of having the matching headstock, it had the black headstock. So, I saw it. Some guy had it in Virginia or something. And I just he's like, man, the best guitar I ever played. And I'm like, well. Oh. Keep <laughs> it, keep it, man. <laughs> well, that's cool. I was like, I got tired of trying to track it down. So, do you still hunt guitars? Do you go well, when you guys are on the road? Do you guys not, like? Not, no, not so much anymore. Yeah, we you got to, enough. Yeah, well, ish. I, it's just it's not the same anymore. I mean, you know, everything's online. You know, uh, <clears throat> there's not the pawn shops are dead. Yeah, it used to be you know, you'd pull into town, go to go to a pawn shop. And you find deals, but everybody you know, knows what they got. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they all look up e eBay and everything's overpriced. And it's no. not it's not the same. No, it used to be fun. What do you guys got coming up this year other than uh, it's a lot more uh, taking the music to the we'll people? We'll be playing, uh, but what we're doing a covers album. What kind of stuff are you guys? Uh, is it a specific genre? Are you guys going? We're all, looking at L.A. Just the L.A. LA, LA influences based. in general. You know, whatever era, you know, just. Wide open, but L.A. And you guys are so L.A. I mean, you guys yeah. represent kind of the melting pot of music that is Los Angeles, and you guys have probably mm -hmm. encompassed that more than any artist. So. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's we grew up here, you know. Yeah. I remember, it was, you know, right, right through town, you know, uh, I used to go looking for records, you know. And uh, and most the place where you could find records was at, like, uh, uh, little drugstores or, or uh, corner markets, you know, little meat markets and stuff like that. So as as you as you drove through L.A. went from the east side all the way up, you know, it was you know, it was Cuban stuff, there was Filipino, there was a lot of I mean it's as you drive you go through all these different neighborhoods and there's all these different cultures, 
So that's that's why we are the way we are. Yeah, and it's beautiful. We grew Guys, up with it. look for Los Lobos 2020 out on the road. Oh, oh, and those man. new those ES are... guitars. <laughs> Marganesium coming to you from the NAM uh, 2020 show back here in the Gibson Artist Lounge. We'll see you guys around all weekend. Peace. That's sexy. That guitar looks good. That long guard.